My name is Bill Parker, and I'm the paleontologist here at Petrified Forest National Park. The Petrified Forest National Park was established in 1906 to protect large deposits of petrified wood from the Triassic period, and it became quickly apparent that we had other types of fossils here as well. Uh, we have everything from fossil pollen to fossil plants, all types of invertebrate and vertebrate animals, and even some of the earliest dinosaurs in the world. Almost every time it rains here, which isn't very often, uh, it uncovers new fossils. So one of the goals is to go out and collect those fossils before they get dis destroyed by further storms. We're here in a fossil preparation lab at Petrified Forest National Park. And this is actually a pretty important place for what we do here in studying the paleontology, the fossil animals of the park. Um, finding the fossils out in the field, in the badlands and stuff like that, and collecting them is just the first step. The next thing we need to do is actually remove the rock from these specimens so that we can actually use them for research or for education. I am um, doing fossil preparation on a animal called a revoltosaurus, and this is a humerus. Uh, basically, I am removing all of the rock and clay and minerals th that are attached to the bone um, under the microscope. And we use things like pin vices, which I'm using here, or dental tools, um, small brushes. And then we usually use a, um, a plastic glue that um, stabilizes and consolidates the bone. Okay, so this specimen here is a skull of an animal called a phytosaur. And phytosaurs were probably the top carnivore um, in the late Triassic epoch, which is the period of time preserved here at Petrified Forest National Park. Uh, this skull here is about three feet long, and this came from an animal that was probably about 18 to 20 feet long. Um, these are the eyes right here. These are actually the nasal openings on top of the skull, and then it had this big, long snout. And once we get all the rock removed from here, you can see this white stuff is the rock. This purplish stuff is actually the bone. And if I pick up the end of the snout here, you can see that there's little um, pits right here. And these are actually the end of the snout pits where big giant teeth would be in this thing. And these are big sharp um, teeth. Clearly this thing was a carnivore. And we think that it probably ate anything that got a little too close to the water hole where it was living. My name is Matt Smith. I'm the collections manager here at Petrified Forest National Park. I'm also the preparator and uh, sort of a general museum technician. I do all sorts of things involved with the museum collections. We've got hundreds of thousands of objects that are cataloged in the PFO collections and um, you know it's a continuing process. Every year we have more and more stuff come in, whether it's fossil objects or archaeological objects or, or anything that we find here in the park. Um, and so essentially what this serves as is sort of an evidence locker uh, regarding petrified forest. And the neat thing about collections to me, uh, and this applies to all museum collections everywhere, is that in a lot of instances we're answering questions that we never knew we were going to ask. And the same goes for fossils. Um, you know, we're doing things now with fossils that we never expected we would do. Whether that's, you know, isotope analysis or dating of the matrix or you know any number of things and because we don't know necessarily about what the next question will be we again try to make sure that the fossil and all its associated materials are kept in the best condition possible so in a natural history collection one of the most important cabinets that you can have is the type cabinet and what that is is the cabinet that contains all of the material that's been described in scientific publications so this, for example, is the world's oldest crawdad. Um, you'll never see another one like it because there's only one known in existence. So we've got phytosaurs, we've got crawfish, we've got freshwater sharks, we've got clams, we've got Van Clevia, we've got Chindosaurus. Essentially, in a type cabinet, if it's new to science, it ends up in here. We've got over 90 different species that have been described from petrified forest and nowhere else in the world. We're essentially dealing with all these creatures that all interact with one another, all do different things, 23, you know, 223 million years ago, right here in this one spot. 
One of the most amazing things, I think, one of the things that really drives me as a paleontologist is not necessarily the stuff that I've already found and what I already know, it's what I don't know and what's around each corner.